Today, I'm chatting with Christine Wiesner from Data School Germany. Thanks for joining me, Christine. Hello, Andy. Thank you for this invitation. Glad to oh, be here. My pleasure. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah. Hello, I'm Christine Lim Wiesner. I'm actually from the Philippines. And I came to Germany to do my master's in uh, engineering in energy and environmental management. And I also have a background in sustainability finance and, uh, and sorry, and uh, ESG or environmental social governance analysis. And yeah, um, I used to do projects in the energy efficiency side and uh, green buildings, as well as uh, renewable energy projects in rural areas. Well, wow, that's a fascinating background, definitely unique to the data school. So how did a career or a background in energy and financial management lead you to the data school? Yeah, actually, I, I like the part where I was analyzing the KPIs, but um, I never knew anything aside from Excel itself. I don't know anything <laughs> about uh, analyzing data to get it further into the analysis. So that's why last year I joined a boot camp in, in data science. Okay. And yeah, from there, I, I just realized that it was very, very useful. So Christine, what do you prefer, Alteryx or Tableau? Um, for now, the past three weeks, I think I would say I love uh, Tableau because that's what I learned first. But um, eventually, I came to love Alteryx. Um, both have um, very powerful functions, and they have, uh, they're have they both intuitive and easy to use. Um, it's just that Alteryx has a lot of tools to learn, and that's why I prefer Tableau for now. What's your favorite part of Alteryx, then? Is it just working with it or particular tools? Um, no, I, I would say that um, getting into the answers or getting into the, to the, to the purpose or to the zeal or the uh, objective of the of the question, you know. Right, so it's the problem solving. So you've yeah. got a question, how can you use Alteryx and the tools in Alteryx to help you go step-by-step step through that yeah. to find the answer? Yeah, exactly. Great. That's What's been the most interesting thing you've learned so far? Um, yeah, uh, in during the last three weeks, I've learned a lot about teamwork. I'm very glad to be part of the part of a group again and part of a team, part of a part of uh, a lot of data enthusiasts with positive attitude. So tell me a bit about the project you had last Friday where you got paired up with somebody from the data school because that's teamwork as well, but it's somebody you've never met before. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I never realized that I could accomplish anything or ac accomplish a project with someone, with a stranger in Zoom. And yeah, everything worked well with James. He was really great and um, we we planned our approach from the beginning and we agreed to take it easy and um, make, make basic uh, analysis first and just go further and um, um, with time. And we did a lot of practice also before the presentation. So yeah, it was good that we're um, getting, uh, we're calling each other also for uh, just to know we're in the same page. And what's been your biggest challenge so far in the data school? With the training, it's about more of um, the speed. Um, I, I, I seem to take a lot of time in um, analyzing the data and uh, with the lots of tools that we're trying to learn too much information, I just cannot figure out it that swiftly. And But then I think um, with practice and um, with time, I think I can build and destroy my charts in, the, in time. What's one thing you're looking forward to learning? Um, um, I hope to bring all my learnings uh, in data school to the real world. And I really, really want to be a professional analyst, um, especially um, helping solving or addressing the climate issues or climate actions and the energy transition. So I would want to bring it in the sustainability, um, um, sustainability agenda. Christine, I noticed on your profile on the Data School website that in your free time, you like to watch Korean series and enjoy Korean food. Back home in Philippines, Korean um, culture is very popular. And yeah, we just learned to love this, the, the Korean series and the plots and all that. And um, when I came to Germany, my husband also loved the Korean culture. So it's, it's there. And yeah, we, we did um, Taekwondo together before, before I have, was um, pregnant and have a baby, then I, that was the time I stopped doing Taekwondo. But yeah, it, the Korean culture is really fascinating for me, I think. Well, thank you very much for your time, Christine. And I look forward to teaching you again. Yeah, 
Thank you very much, Andy. Okay, bye. Bye.